All right, so we're back. So for those that may not have caught the video before this, this is Baby Zuri. And she's the teen sculpt by Bonnie Brown and she was painted by Belira Baby Reborns. And um, definitely, um, <laughs> definitely has been a great addition to my collection. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> um, this outfit is kind of, I got it mostly for a boy, but I put it on her. It's kind of neutral, so it's under neutral gray. It's okay. She can wear gray. I could have put her pink bow in her head to make it, you know, but some of you guys may not know this, but you figure it out. I don't do a lot of bows in my baby's heads. I, I have them, but I don't really, unless they're really like ball ball, I don't really care to put them in there. But, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm so, so excited about my collection and, um, I, I don't know where, wh what am I going to do from here? Um, so far, um, I've sold Cheyenne, Nevada, um, who else went? Oh, my Aspen prototype. Um, that's the three recent. Um, I'm hoping to sell Rio maybe when he gets back. I'm hoping I have the courage to do it. And um, Charlotte, oh, I just love her so much. I don't know about Charlotte just yet. I don't know about Charlotte just yet, but I, I think I'm gonna sell Charlotte. Um, Winter, my silicone baby, I'm gonna sell her. Um, I think I'm going to sell, if, if I be honest, I think my goal is to sell most of my babies in my collection. I'll tell you why I am trying not to sell. Taraji, Joey, Memphis. I'm looking for Memphis, but I forgot he's in my bed. I'm like, where is Memphis? But like, I'm like panicking out. Y'all can't see me, but my head is like spinning around like exorcist here looking for Memphis. Cause he's usually where Laura is and Laura's in um, the little swing. So, I'm hoping to keep Lauren, but I have another one coming that I'm gonna paint, and I don't know because, you know, sometimes I paint one and I and then I I'm not gonna keep both sculpts probably. I don't know, but um, so I have Taraji, Joey, Zuri, um, Jersey, and Jersey is my Jew, my pickle baby, um, and. Piper, which is my house pipe by Marita Winters, that I couldn't remember the name of her sculpt in a previous video. And then um, Lily Grace, I am planning on keeping her now at this point. So I think I'm gonna let go of uh, Charlotte, um, Rio, Winter, Jasper, I'm still on the fence with. That's my little tiny micro preemie uh, silicone baby. He's AA, um, I'm almost halfway done with rooting him almost done I just need to finish it and then give him a haircut and then um finish up whatever little spots or whatever he might have that I need to clear up on him um grumpy is already sold um I will be doing a video with grumpy I know I keep saying it but it's coming what where are we at in the week um, this is Monday. So this week, this week for sure, we'll, we'll get, I'll get grumpy on a video so you guys can see her and see her movement and her mommy, especially, um, cause she's on layaway. Um, but yeah, I, I plan to sell those babies. Winter, I'm going to sell. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to try to finish them first. I, I made the mistake of saying just like I'm doing now. Sometimes I feel like I need to give people a heads up because these these dolls are expensive and people sometimes they they want to have notice and people are always saying oh you didn't I wish I would have known you were gonna sell them and da 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 so I'm I'm putting it out there now that those are the babies that I intend to sell anything is subject to change because I'm a woman and you know women change their mind <laughs> oh gosh um 
men change their minds too, just FYI. Um, but yeah, so I, I was, I want to put that out there, but I don't want to like, I don't want to start doing preliminary sales before the baby is actually finished because what if I change my mind? It's like, I don't want to spend hours answering questions about the doll before the doll is actually ready to sell. So, um, I will say in this video, winter is 19 to 20 inches. She fits newborn, some zero to three if it's small cut, um, but primarily newborn. Um, she's nowhere near preemie. She's a little bit smaller than the fin. Um, and she's the Louisa Sculpt by Lillian Breville. She's a sold out edition. She has elbow armatures of drinking wet. Um, she will not be cheap, as you guys know, the kits alone is over $3,000 blank. Um, or almost $3,000. She's a sleeper. She doesn't have eyes. The eyes cost more, too. Um, like $60 more or something like that. But anyway, nevertheless, um, so I will have a silicone baby up available I, I don't never know what I want to do. So I, I, try, I, I need to stop trying to talk ahead of time because a part of me wants to say I am not painting silicone anymore. But then I love painting it when I'm painting it. It's so stupid. Like, I be like so giddy when I'm painting silicone. Like, I love it, but then I, I hate it at the same time because, like, you never know what you're going to get with silicone. I promise. It's, it's the craziest thing, but it's so rewarding when it comes out right, but it's so heartbreaking when it doesn't. Um, anyway, isn't she just adorable though? I mean, her skin tone is just phenomenal. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. Does she have a little like, little texture on her nose, like little bumpies? I do that to my babies. <laughs> This is why I'm drawn to this artist's work, I think, because, yeah, yeah, I do little stuff like that. Oh my goodness. She is just, this artist, like, don't leave out any detail. Like, it's like little fine things that she does that gets me. Okay. I, I love it. I, I just noticed that. I was like, I was looking at her and all of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute, is that texture? But anyway, she is just, I, I just, I, I really love her. Look at these little feet, y'all. I love her feet. Like, love her feet color. Like, she is just, like, my mom hasn't seen her yet. But I know my mom's going to say she's funny looking. But <laughs> she's going to love her skin tone, though. She, My mom loved dark skin babies. She's going to love her skin tone. She's going to love everything about her but she's definitely gonna say she's funny looking i know she is but i just love her like i love her little funny looking life <laughs> or funny looking fake life but um and she like she feels good when you hold her like you see that's like the laura too the laura when you lay her on your chest like her hands like fall like just right like a newborn like it's so nice like, I love when sculpts, like, really, like, pose naturally on their own. Like, I don't know how she just crossed her legs, but she just did that. Like, I didn't do that. So, like, it's, so that's, that's one of the cool parts about these babies. Did you get a prick? No, she didn't get a prick. But, um, the detail in the bottom of her foot, ugh, it's like, lady, she took her time with that. Like this baby foot, and and I'm not I'm like when I say this I'm just I'm just talking and reviewing my babies the art that I've collected and the art part of it. This late this baby foot has more colors in it than some of some babies that I've seen the whole doll. Like this baby foot is just phenomenal. Like I love it. I love the foot. I love her feet. And. The insides of her hand. But anyway. It's great. It's amazing. <sighs> I 
I'm, I'm just excited about her. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, yeah, so I'm saving up my money and um, I am going to prepare for the just in case. Because I hate when something, I don't, I don't make a lot of money, guys. And um, you guys see, I, I sell babies, but I don't sell that many that often. Like a lot of people, they push out babies every every week there's a new baby every week there's two or three babies you know people and they're having customs in the background and all that i don't i don't do that you know what you see is what you get i don't i sell the baby here there sometimes it seems like a lot because maybe three will leave close by but i don't i don't sell a lot like that um and so you know i don't make a lot of hobby money um so I have to save up and I don't want to be caught in a situation where a baby come up that I want and I can't get it. There is an artist and artist that I want work, but I've, I've scratched it off the list now because um, the price range is beyond my limit of what I'm willing to pay and what I can pay. Um, I could if I sacrifice a few babies or something like that, but I'm not willing to do it. Um, so, because I think we all can afford any baby that we want in the most in most cases, because a lot of us, even people that think they're collecting low end, they have like 30 dolls, and when you add them up, I mean, even if you sell them at two hundred dollars a piece two hundred times thirty is what i don't know i ain't got a calculator and i'm not that smart and i don't have my earpiece in to ask siri so sorry guys i don't know the math but you get what i'm saying it adds up to be quite a bit so you can actually end up affording like a really nice doll or a high quality doll um but are you willing to do that i'm not willing to do it at this time um, because I have babies that I really, really love um, in my collection. So, anyway, back to the point is is that um, I am I am going to save up. Um, I am not. I think this year I am not really seeking silicone as much. Um, to be honest, I've I've kind of fell into this place where I'm actually enjoying my reborns and I think they're more affordable for me even though the level of which I'm collecting is still quite expensive I still I still feel find it more affordable for me if that makes sense um yeah so it's, it's just more affordable for me um and I and I enjoy them, um, the weight of them. I was talking to uh, one of the mommies that received my baby. I think it was, well, I'm not gonna say which one because I don't, I don't want to, you know, put that out there. But I was speaking to one of the mommies that received one of my babies, and they were saying, "Oh my gosh, I thought, you know, with my silicones that, you know, they were the only ones that would be so cuddly." But they said they they couldn't believe how cuddly um their the reborn was that they got from me and that they really really um enjoyed holding that baby and I, I just and and that's the thing it's like we we believe a lot of stuff that's told to us or what we hear and to be honest it's all the same except for the fact that with the silicone it's it's not all the same now, silicone is amazing. It has its place, trust me. And it's definitely worth every penny. But the difference is, is the silicone, like, you can, you can like, dress it unlimited. It, the clothes can be a little too big because if it hang down, what, only the skin on the chest is going to show, not the cloth or whatever. You don't have to have this belly plate that you have to keep adjusting and that's going to take away the, the cuddle factors and all that and stuff. So it's... It, Silicone definitely have its place, but um, I think reborns are great too. But I gotta go, cause guys, um, I I I actually have me something in the oven to eat, and I haven't been eating for days, and I'm actually 
feeling like I have the desire to eat. And honey, let me tell you, I need to eat because I've started getting headaches. So I'm like, I need to eat. I gotta eat. I, I hope I lose some weight though. I keep saying, I said, I, God, you done took everything else from me. You done took my grandma. You done took my friend. You done took... <laughs> Look, you done took everything. You done took everything from me. Can you take some of this weight with you, please? Can you take some of the weight? <laughs> like, go ahead and take some. I don't buy that. Like, I'm okay to lose that. But anyway, I know that's a sick sense of humor. But, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I don't know who else I will bring on. But right now, I'm really, like, really into Missouri. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully one day I'll change your clothes. Bye.